Something inside me is awake. And I need help. He wanted to push me out of my comfort zone. I mean, I, I, I'm assuming because that's what he did. When I read, it's time for the Jedi to end, I said, what? So I said to him, I said, I just basically fundamentally disagree with all, everything you've come up with. I said, I love everything else except what you've done for me. My objection was that, that I would do something about it. I wouldn't just secrete myself on an island and say, oh, poor me, and, and be in exile for 30 years. I wasn't the only one he challenged. In, in the middle act of a three-act story, you can really throw the kitchen sink at every major character, and all the characters face challenges that they haven't before. What I do know is that on, on set, it was always a, a, a challenge. There was always something to, to, to think about that was out of the box, that was new. And if it, when it comes from the practical effects to the actual scene and the dialogue, it feels like a Star Wars fanboy ticking off his list of potential things to do in a Star Wars film. And, and, and that's what's great about this. And that's very much just him, obviously with the help of wonderful people who are helping him do that vision. But the, the core of it is him. <laughs> There's just a very different energy going on. And I think that did bring a certain intimacy to the set and an intimacy to the scenes as well. I didn't feel this pressure as this new person. I felt comfortable, I felt like I could play, and that means so much because it means that they were all so welcoming and it felt like a family. I mean, Ryan is an amazing filmmaker and, and, and the most extraordinary thing about him is he's so unassuming and collaborative and friendly and the atmosphere on set was, was extraordinary. Remarkably, it felt like you were making a small budget independent mm -hmm. movie, you know, it didn't feel like you were on one of the biggest film sets in the world. There wasn't a road map laid out, there was no like big huge master plan, there was a very organic storytelling process where I got to just say, okay, JJ took it up to here, now where am I going to take it next? And now I'm handing it back to JJ and saying, now where does it make sense for you to see it end?